Hey, what's up guys? Matt with The Movement System. Today we're going to talk about METs or metabolic equivalents. This is an important concept for figuring out oxygen consumption and calorie burn from different exercises. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so to start off, you may have seen a chart like this that shows different activities and the associated MET value. So one MET would be our oxygen consumption just at rest, if we were doing nothing at all. Two METs would double our resting oxygen consumption. And leisurely activities typically are around two or three METs. And then when we get into sporting activities, we get three, four, five, six plus METs. And since oxygen consumption is directly related to calorie burn, if we're at five METs, that means we're burning five times as many calories and consuming five times as much oxygen as we would be at rest. So you might be wondering what the actual unit of MET is and what it means. So one MET is equal to 3.5 milliliters of oxygen consumption per kilogram body weight per minute. And it's actually important to realize this is the same unit as VO2 max. So if I have a VO2 max around 60, I could take 60 divided by 3.5 and realize that my VO2 max is the equivalent of about 17 METs. But of course, VO2 max is our maximal oxygen consumption and most activities are not maximal. And I just also wanted to mention that most people have a VO2 max around 35 to 40. So for most people, the maximum amount of METs is around 10 to 11 METs. Okay, so we can know based on research, if an activity is around six METs, for example, about how many calories we're burning. So the equation to figure out how many calories we're burning when we're doing an activity at a certain amount of METs, we would do METs times 3.5 times our body weight in kilograms divided by 200. And again, that 3.5 comes from that 3.5 milliliters per kilogram body weight per minute. And then multiplying by our body weight gets us an absolute number of calories rather than a relative to our body weight number of calories. So the unit that we end up with here is calories per minute. Let's just go ahead to an example here. Okay, so let's say Alice is doing a group fitness workout at about eight METs. Her body weight is 110 pounds or roughly 50 kilograms. If we plug that into the equation, we can see that eight METs times 3.5 times her body weight in kilograms, which is 50, divided by 200 gets us roughly seven calories per minute. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that if we use that top portion of the equation before we divide by 200, that's showing us about 1400 milliliters of oxygen per minute. That's 1.4 liters of oxygen per minute. The conversion factor from liters of oxygen to calories is about five calories per liter of oxygen. So we know that if she's consuming 1.4 liters of oxygen and we multiply that by five calories per liter, that's another way to get us to that seven calories per minute. So from that equation, we can see that Alice, if she's burning seven calories per minute, does a 45 minute group fitness workout, she'll burn roughly 315 calories in that workout. If this has been helpful for you so far in understanding METs, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. So if we actually think about the equation for burning calories, it actually has body weight right there in the equation. So what you'll notice is if you increase body weight, so if someone's heavier, they'll actually consume more oxygen and burn more calories per minute at the same relative intensity. All right guys, so I hope that helps you understand what METs are and how to use them. If it was, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you want to learn more, go ahead and join the Strength and Conditioning Study Group on Facebook. All right, guys, thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.